Hello and welcome to SAP EDI Complete Interface Development with AS2 B2B add-on course. This is a complete hands-on and practical AS2 interface development training. Finally, SAP has released its own B2B AS2 adapter with SAP PO tool and I'm much excited to teach you how to use this adapter. This is an amazing adapter and I believe every PO consultant should learn how to build an interface with this AS2 adapter to become an expert. After you have completed this course, you will know how to build an interface with AS2 sender and receiver adapter and test your interface with Mendelssohn AS2 software. First, let me introduce myself. I am Srinivas Vanamala and I have been an SAP integration architect for over 15 years. I have close to 10,000 students taking my course with some of my courses listed as hot and best seller course in SAP PO category. Okay, so let's look at the prerequisite for this course. Let's look at the prerequisite for this course. You need to have a basic knowledge on how to develop an interface with SAP PO. This course will zoom in into SAP AS2 adapter. So some knowledge is required on how to develop an interface and how to access the SAP PO tools. You need to have an access to SAP PO system on which AS2 adapter is installed. Well, access to SAP EC system is good to have, but you can still learn without SAP EC system. You need an internet to download the software like Mac AS2 software or EDI notepad, whichever is shown in this course. Next, let's look at the sections in this course. In the section one, we will look at Mac AS2 software, Mac being the Mendelssohn AS2 software. This is a software that is used to send and receive a message over the AS2. So in the first lecture, we will see the purpose of this Mac AS2 software, where and how you will use in your interface development. Then I'll show you how to download and install this Mac AS2 software on your local machine. Then I'll show you how to configure Mac AS2 software on your local machine, how to create all those configurations in this software. Then we'll access the Mac AS2 dashboard for this software. In this section two, we will look at the EDI notepad. We will download and install this software. In the lectures, you will see how to download an EDI notepad software understand EDI structure, we will open up an EDI, we will look at all the structures of an EDI, what are the parts of an EDI, how the EDI content look like. You will learn what are the ISA and GS segments in an EDI file and what are the important parameters in these segments. Then we'll review the EDI file and then we'll add in our own ISA and GS IDs into the file. In the next section, you will look at B2B cockpit overview, wherein we will work with EDI content manager where you will convert an ANSI X2L to messages to an XML then we'll do some of the configuration in the NRO maintenance as well. Next in the scenario sections we will be developing the scenarios first scenario will be AS2 to IDOC scenario where we'll use a Mendelssohn software to trigger an AS2 message that message will be 854010 and in SAP PO we'll convert that EDI message into an IDOC and that IDOC will be posted into an SAP EC system. So from the configuration point of view, we will look at how to develop the objects in SLD, ESR, ID, and we'll do the end-to-end -end testing with the Mendelssohn AS2 software. Next, we will replace the Mendelssohn AS2 with a file wherein we will drop the EDI file in an FTP folder and we'll use the same interface to pick the file and process the message into an IDOC message. Next in IDOC to AS2 scenario, we will trigger an orders IDOC from SAP ECC and we'll convert that into an 8540 EDI file and we'll send the file to the Mac AS2 software. Here you will learn how to configure Mendelssohn software to receive the message and how to configure your channel to send that message to the Mendelssohn software. In the configuration section, we will look at SLD, ESR, ID and end-to-end -end testing from ECC to Mendelssohn software. In the 997 functional act scenario, we will reuse the existing scenario wherein the Mendelssohn triggering an 850 message to SAP PO. We will capture the 997 and we will dump that 997 into an FTP folder. In NRO maintenance section, we will create a counter in the NRO maintenance and then we'll use that counter in the mapping program. Then in the module level, we will try to convert our message to fill that NRO variables into the output EDI file. This is basically useful when you want to generate a counter in the ISA or GS segments. Apart from learning, there are some free downloads available in this course. 
Well, you can download all the course slides that has been shown in this course. I'll give you all the software links for the Mac AS2 EDI software and all the software that has been used in this course. Then you can download B2B add-on content. You can download the interface objects. These two things you can download and then you can import in the ESR. I'll give you the sample EDI files for you to test in your interface. And also I'll give you the EDI ANSI X12410 structures which you can directly import and build the interface. Well, don't forget the benefits that you get when you buy from an Udemy. There's a 30 days money back guarantee. You can take the course and if you don't like it, there's a 30 day money back guarantee from Udemy. You can download all the videos for offline viewing. For Q&A section, I'll be available. You can post your questions. You can ask any configuration issues that you have. I'll be happy to answer that. You can access all the videos in mobile and TV. And obviously you can write to support at the red .pro for help and I'll be happy to help. I'm very much excited to teach you this course. Well, I promise that after you take this course, you will definitely learn how to build an interface with an AS2 adapter and you will learn even how to test your interface with Mac AS2 software. Well, I'm super excited to teach you this course. So let's see you in the course.